Welcome to the Weekly Life Experiment. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we'll be covering implants. Everything from type to benefit and materials. That being said, let's start the video. Alright, before anyone sues me or blames me for anything, I have to give a quick disclaimer. I'm not officially endorsing or encouraging implantation of any technology or body mods or applications of anything that I'm going to talk about today because of the potential liability. And if your body's going ape shit because of something you did, ask your doctor. Okay, don't die. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, the first implant we're gonna talk about is the most common and most talked about, magnet implants. These implants are really basic and usually one of the first implants people do. The magnets are usually implanted in the ring finger, pinky finger, or behind the ears. Behind the ear is a more natural feeling to where the magnetic field is that resembles the feeling of direction, whereas in the finger, it's a more manual feeling where you have to sense and look for the magnetic field. From the moment of implantation, it takes anywhere from one to four weeks for that area to heal. And if you heal properly, it should take anywhere from three months to half a year for you to start feeling the electric magnetic field. Implanting magnets is usually the first implant people do for one of several reasons. First, it's easy. It's been done a lot. It's not that hard to find an implanter. Second, a lot of people have done it and most of the people know how it works, more or less. So you won't be a complete weirdo, which is important because humans are social animals and yada, yada, yada. We'll talk about that in a future video. Third, it's a cool implant. Now, before you run off and get yourself infected, we have to go over a few details. You can't just run off and implant any old magnet. The magnet itself needs to be sterilized and fully covered by a coating that limits the body's ability to reject it, such as silicon, gold, and even titanium. This part is extremely important, otherwise the body will attack it, causing scar tissue to form around it, inflammation, pain, and other great fun things. So if you don't like that, coat your magnet. Please, for the love of God, just coat your magnet. Next, we have the less common NFC and RFID implants, which if you don't know, stand for near field communication and radio frequency identification. These are passive chips with info preloaded into them that require a scanner or a reader. You've probably seen one or used one if you go to the gym or you work in an office that needs a chip to get in the door or even for your house or car or other places that I forgot to mention. And now I've used the word or too many fucking times. This implant is one of the easiest, cheapest and most accessible implant this year and is geared toward people who easily forget keys and other things. All you have to do to get this implant is inject a chip between the thumb and the index finger where it can be red and boom, you're golden. Of course, I'm simplifying, but you get the idea. That's actually where I'm gonna end this video. And yes, there are many implants that I would love to talk about, but I'm a college student and Time is not really on my side. But if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, stay awesome, and I'll see you guys next time.